Okay, just some really quick thoughts on stuff that's happening right now. Ryan versus Devin, who do you got? Um, I trained Devin a long time ago, and I think that I think that Devin's gonna gonna pull out the fight, but I think that's gonna be closer than people think it is. Gotcha, gotcha. Tank versus Frank Martin. Tank is going to fight Frank Martin. Do you think no. Frank Martin has a shot? Because obviously he's going to go in as the underdog. No, I think, I think that I think Frank is going to probably give, give um, Devontae some problems. But I think in the end, if he gets caught, he's gonna end, the fight going to end like all the rest of his fights. Gotcha. Gotcha. There you go. Rowley versus Pitbull Cruz. Put, to be at that weight class, um, Rolly's always been big, and even when he was even when he was fighting at a low weight class, he still was a big guy. And I think that that might show up on fight night. Gotcha, gotcha. Two more fights, and then I'll get you out of here. Thurman versus Zoo. What do you think about that fight? Um, good fight. Um, I think that. Thurman inactivity is going to show up in the fight. And, um, and if he loses, that's going to be the reason why. You think he'll be able to handle Zeus' pressure? Um, I think that... I think that Thurman is a really good fighter. But I just think that that time away from the ring, a lot of times that, that can hinder a fighter and, and make a fighter half the fighter they used to be. And I think that that's going to show up in the fight. Yeah. Now, the winner of that fight, so let's say you're leaning with Zoo. The winner of that fight is looking like it's going to get lined up to fight Terrence Crawford, 154 pounds for the belt. How do you think that fight goes if it is Zoo versus Crawford? Um, I think either fighter is going to be. If it's Thurman or if it's Zoo, I would pick Crawford over both of them. Crawford, I mean, Crawford has proven himself. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, the one big fight is, of course, Earl Spence, but he still proved himself when you can beat, you know, the way he beat Sean Porter. He beat, he beat other good fighters, so, and I mean, and the guy, he can fight. He can fight left-handed, he can fight right-handed, he can box a little bit, and slug, and, and slug a little bit too, so, I mean, he's a complete fighter. So I, I, would, I would give him an edge over anybody at 154. There you go. Last question is happening next week. Joshua and Ganu, what are your thoughts? Um, well, I think that if Ghana showed everyone that he does have a chance, I mean, I mean, I don't think that Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua is, is a good fighter, and I think that, you know, we have with his uh, lifting prowess and everything, I mean, he's a great fighter as well, but I just think that, still, if he gets caught fighting Ghana, he's going to lose. So you think that Anthony would have to box him off, or Ngannou could potentially win with his power? I think Ngannou has a he has a punch's chance. Got it. He definitely has a punch's chance. But even if he still did what he did with Tyson Fury, even with the way that I'm talking about a guy that looked like a guy that never even fought in his life in a boxing ring, but he showed, I mean, 10 rounds that him and Tyson Fury was basically back and forth. Back and forth. I mean, I thought the fight was actually a draw. Yeah. There you go. And I think that if he can, if he can, even though that wasn't, I don't think that that was Tyson Fury 100%. Yeah. But I still think that if Ghana does what he did with Tyson Fury, he has a great chance to win it. Thank you so much, Jeff. We appreciate all your insight, and we look forward to seeing you again on Thank you so much, Jeff. We appreciate all your insight, and we look forward to seeing you again on Fight Hype. Yep. Hey.